I'm Jenna or Jenna Cat, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about the process I took in creating this three panel foam castle wall for a local video game writing conference. So let's get into it. So I started out with these two inch thick pink foamular walls from Home Depot, but I think you can get them from other places as well. I started out with drawing a rough stone pattern on the board and went in with my hot wire cutting tool to start carving in the detail. Now, quick word of caution, if you ever use a tool like this, be very, very careful when using it because it is hot. So like just word of caution, be very careful when using this. Also highly encouraged to do it in a well ventilated space and preferably wearing a mask of some sort because as you can see, the fumes that come off of it are pretty strong. I will also include a link to some of the tools I used in this video in case this is a craft idea you're interested in trying yourself. This first wall was my tri trial and error. I made my cuts, initial cuts, and they weren't deep enough. So I had to go in and make them deeper. And that was actually a really challenging to go back in and try to make a new cut because of the way these hot foam wire tools work is that they like melt the foam, but then it creates like a melted texture on top of where you melted it. So trying to cut through that melted and then hardened texture was really difficult. So I learned the hard way for my next two panels that I need to cut deep the first time, otherwise I'm gonna struggle. Now to get this stone texture, I sprayed with a water bottle and used a heat gun and the water particles, when they heat up, start melting the foam and give it this really cool stone texture. Look, and it's super easy and literally so cheap. It's water and as long as you have a heat gun, that's it. Now onto the second wall. This one is a little bit different than the first because this is the centerpiece, this is the focal point and it's gonna have a TV behind it. It's supposed to look like a stone window with a TV behind it and the presentation is going to be shown on the TV and in between the presentation times they're going to have like a cool picture on it so it looks like it's actually a window overlooking something really cool. Unfortunately I was given the wrong measurements for the TV so the TV didn't fit in the hole as it should have but they were able to make it work with some finagling of the PowerPoint presentation. And now I have some cat helpers walking all over my work. The biggest downfall about using these particular formula pieces is that there are perforated lines down the center, two of them, down the center of each piece. I think that's to make it so you can break it easier if you need to break it. But for what I was using it for, those lines were the bane of my existence, especially when I went in with that heat gun because it really made them pronounced and you just wouldn't see a straight line like that on a stone wall. So I had to get creative and I used a little bit of foam glue and a little bit of plaster and kind of patched up the holes. It's not perfect you can still see the lines a little bit but you'll see at the end there's a way that I'm able to hide the rest of those lines pretty well also I'm incredibly lucky to have a super creative friend that I can bounce ideas off of when I do projects like this she gives me advice because she's been doing this for much longer of what materials to use like what I can do if I'm in a pickle I owe a lot of my creative growth to her super appreciate all the help she's given me over the years with projects like this here I'm carving out that TV window and giving the frame around the window a different stone style so that it looks intentional, that it looks like a window frame and just gives the wall a little bit more interest. Now I'm going in with my paint gun and painting the base brown and then I add a little bit of grays and reds. I regret putting the reds because I ended up making the wall look more pinky purple instead of brown and red like I wanted. So that was a bit of a bummer but you know I was on a supply budget and on a real strict time crunch because of when I was presented the funds to do this project I did not have a lot of time to execute it so even though I wasn't a huge fan of the final color I had to just stick with it I didn't have time to fix it and I still made it work and they still love the product at the end I went in with like a beige for the grout lines again to give more visual interest to the wall to make things pop more to give it that like stone monastery look. Now a project like this for me, really fun. I really loved striking myself creatively, but boy, oh boy, did it hurt my back. It is such tedious work leaning over these pieces for hours at a time. And like my back was crying, not even halfway through, like barely into it. I was like, this is a lot. So I did have to take lots of breaks. I had to stretch my back. I ended up having to wear my back brace that I had back when I had a back injury. I used that to help kind of support my back. So that part was a struggle. Now this part, this part was fun. Again, super tedious, but I got 
have to glue a bunch of moss and ivy onto the board because I wanted it to look like old and overgrown and like kind of magical. So that's what we're going for here. Those ivy were a pain to glue because I had to use hot glue, but the hot glue melted the plastic of the ivy. So I had to hold each piece as the glue dried to make sure that it didn't pop out or melt all the way through. And this, this part was so cool. Being able to see all three pieces laid out together was amazing. Because I was building it in my garage, I could only see like one piece at a time. I couldn't see them all together. So that was really cool. And now here we are setting it up in the space that it was going to live for the weekend. It was so fun being able to get it up and standing. I should have had help putting this together because it would have made my life a lot easier. But you know, I'm a one woman show a lot of the time and I just did it on my own and made do with, you know, sometimes it falls over on me. Also with those curtains, it's actually a table runner that I ordered off Amazon and unfortunately they only had one left of the long piece so I had to order two of the smaller pieces and sew them together. So there is a little bit of a seam but it's not super noticeable if you're sitting far back and I tried to get those creases out. I ironed it, I used iron spray and it just like wouldn't come out. My most favorite part was stepping back and just seeing it standing, seeing it all put together. Just so satisfying to see this huge project that I had been working on for over a month actually come to pass and look awesome. I'm really excited that I got to do this project and I hope I get to do more stuff like this in the future. That was my quick recap of the castle wall project that I did. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more artsy crafty things than I do, please consider giving my channel a subscribe. I also do video game content. If you like video games as well, I've got that too. Until the next video, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day.